What's up guys? This is the Rogueman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore and in this episode we are intercepting a United Provinces army in a battle which is really quite important because we've got a significant number of uh, proper European troops to deal with against our uh, Indian armies which not that they're second rate but they get a lot more uh, stouter troops than we have access to. So let's get ready. We have intercepted them, so they are attacking us, which I will be looking to try and take full advantage of so I can use my put artillery to deploy devastating cannon, well, canister shot fire against their troops. And it's going to be... It's going to be curious. It's going to be curious to see what happens. That's for darn sure. We do have a full army in reinforcement, and I think we're going to need it. We really are going to need it. So let's get ready. Because I need my Ooh, rain. We've got high ground. It's pretty good. I'm going to need my cannons. I'm going to need my cannons as a great equalizer, really. So. Uh, I'll back here, aren't they? Yep. One unit deployed there, one unit deployed here. Let's take two more line units, deploy them up on the high ground. I think I have to treat my melee troops as kind of shock troops. Whenever they start to get a bit dangerously close, we deploy we deploy the melee troops to throw them back. On the right flank, Indian Musketeers and Royal Indian Infantry Guards. So each gun team gets a melee unit in reserve to protect them. So that's you. Okay, you haven't been deployed, so throw them down there. Dervishes throw them down here. So we have some interesting cavalry options. My general obviously has a commanding view of the battlefield. Oh no, 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 no. Cavalry, a bunch of guys turn around and face off against. Yeah, this isn't actually too bad. Camels get the general's bodyguard. Everyone just pound the bejesus out of this force that's advancing towards us. I might take this unit of Islamic swordsman up here as well. Islamic swordsmen get over here. Neiman run, the Sipahi run. Gunners switch to cast shot already. Start to chase away some of these troops that are beginning to advance. I need to shoot this Swiss pikeman really. This gun team has a bit more latitude. Charge the Crossier. This is kind of what I have to do though. So we killed a general. This might draw up this might draw up a lot of my melee troops. Fighting like so. They're coming right for us. This gun team switches cans to shot, engage. Hindu Musketeers form square. Hindu Warriors push the flank. Blast the pikemen. Sikh Warriors push down the hill. Because, yeah, look, we start to see just lots of infantry come in. And this is why I wanted 
my melee troops in here. But this is a bit dangerous. But we've got our got our line firing. Keep blasting them. The dragoons. I have the dragoons have dismounted, which is pretty good. So you men are going to charge the Swiss pikes. You men are going to charge them in the flank. As are the Hindu warriors. Jump on them all together. Pivot my artillery fire. You may engage the militia in the centre. Pull my Kizilbashi cavalry back. Pull everyone else back. No, pull you guys back. Leave it to my melee troops to just mob them as they enter the field. They shouldn't get into position enough to do any serious damage. Okay, they're hitting us with cavalry, so this could potentially be bad. Bring my general over here. Got the Hindu Musketeers to form square. This gun team blast the engineers, because they are dangerous, quite dangerous. Killed another general. Musketeers form square. My general commit. Peak warriors engage. Gunners withdraw. My Islamic swordsmen are upset. That's okay. This combat here. Attack the provincial cavalry. At least my right, my left flank's pretty stable. So I might start trying to push you guys up a little bit. Switch to round shots so you can engage the Jaegers at range. So ideally, I want you men to try and break through. Okay, you men park up here and use your muskets to blast into that square formation. Let's see if it, it might it might be a terrible idea. Hindu warriors push on. No, my Sikh warriors push on towards that enemy skirmish unit. We can drive them away. It's my gunners. There they are. Gunners. Pick up your guns. General's bodyguard. Form up. Okay, this general's bodyguard can go over here. You men fire at will. Put a blast into the back of those Swiss troops and then charge. How about you? Okay, you, you men. Hindu musketeers form your line. Hindu warriors form your line. Royal Indian infantry guards form your line. Gunners, canister shot, engage the grenadier guards. Sea warriors engage the men to the front. Although you are getting shot at now, so you guys will may potentially break. 12 pounders blast the 56 that are right in front of you. Attack the Swiss Mountain Jaegers with melee. They have pushed right up into your face. Let's bring some camels over to this fight. This might be... No, it's not. It's the Regiment of Fusiliers here. Fusiliers are not very good in melee combat though, so they should fall pretty spectacularly. Push down here, attack the mountain Jaeger. These gunners are firing round shot. Try to aim somewhat along the line. This formation can push up. Oh, 
Oh, you're Hindu warriors, you can't do anything. Charge in. Actually, no, don't charge in. That's how we lost the Hindu warriors last time. Can you, are you guys... You guys are shooting over the Hindu warriors, which is pretty ace. Push you men down. Okay, yeah, this is where it starts to get a bit dicey. Because you just keep coming in. There's a square there, but we can't do anything except charge it. Got to get in there and break some of these guys. Same with the elephants. Although, to be honest, if you guys knock out that foot artillery unit, can the mercenaries chase down the mountain jäger? You two units could probably push up back here to try and help stem this front line a little bit. There we go. So my general's bodyguard should stir things up. And we're starting to see some breaking here on our side. Hit the Jaeger. Bring another one more unit of Hindu Musketeers back. So we're starting to get overwhelmed, and the general's bodyguard will start to fall. In general, though, okay, right. You guys and these two Sikh warrior units can get up to here now. Because this front sector here against the tr enemy troops is actually pretty pretty secure. You can also come back. So there's another unit of troops coming in. Yeah, my general has heroically fallen. Didn't really have much of a choice though. Had to send him in. So there goes that unit of Islamic swordsmen. Still, the Dutch pouring troops in. Until we get this line set up, we can't really afford to do anything else. So you switch to round shot and engage. You need of expat infantry. These two units push up. Pahi are broken from that original combat. You men push up. You guys switch to round shot. Found them. General bodyguard. Get back up here as well. Okay, when you men set up, you are fire at will off. back the Camel Nomads. Get rid of that gun team. Get rid of the Camel Nomads because we can use... General's Bodyguard is... they're already dead. So let's begin putting some volleys into this formation. from back here. So over here, this battle. So suddenly the Sikh warriors and the Hindu warriors, you want to come back a little bit. We don't necessarily need you here as well. But here come reinforcements I 
as many men as possible to fire here just to break them and make them flee two men I don't need these camels back here as well you men both form up we could probably do some good damage to these grenadier guards militia conscripts nah, go for the grenadiers You maybe go for the conscripts. Okay, let's try and sort out this line a little bit. My camels would be enough to knock out those grenade guards, but what I want to see. Conscripts are routing. Swiss pikemen might do some damage, but we can jump on them quite, quite well. There you go, they're already wavering, so when the Hindu Musketeers charge into their flank, there you go, they've redone their calculus. Okay, they're pushing towards our normal line. Just kind of shot, blast them. Because here, here comes their other army. They've made a little defensive position back here. Not that it's going to help them. This ground is. Oh, they moved. <laughs> then there's 36 going to engage. There they go. So one gun team focus on the line infantry behind them. Both of these units focus on the conscripts. No gunners, no. Get up here. Charge the conscripts. Those men have routed. Now we're on to Swiss Mountain Jaeger, who will really not like being engaged. Now you're engaging. I think actually you guys can attack the Jaeger. You men stop. Because the uh, fire by rank actually made both of our line infantry units route, uh, waver. See these musketeers are wavering. Yeah, they're wavering under fire from the Jaeger. <laughs> the sound effects for the Jaegers never really work. Just, yeah, that gun team might actually be in trouble. Try to get straight through the line. They're engaging us. They're engaging us. There we go, we lost. We lost one gun team. We cast a shot from our own guns. That's what happens when you wander in front of the line. Those Jaeger managed to make my two of my infantry units route. Let's bring back the camels here then. And they're also looks like they're gonna make this unit route as well. I was gonna say, you don't all have to route. Form up and shoot. There we are. Okay, Dragoons are coming in. Ah. Form square. Hindu warriors, attack. Yeah, those damn Jaeger... Campbell's take him out because that fire is devastating. Now what are you gonna do, eh? That's right, they're coming for you. They're wavering too. No, don't attack that combat. Oh, for, come on, for God's sake! I gave you your orders.
Those musketeers are broken, which isn't ideal. You men run into the line. Okay, they're coming in to the line. Garrison militia unit coming in. Yeah, I thought they'd come back. Goons are dismounted. It's my native war auxiliary. Push up the flank. Gunners. last um, melee troops have to get involved from up here although they might actually go this way because they just keep on coming okay you guys blast them with canister shot pushing see my guns see they they are just they are critical ah yeah, you men can engage now my gun is up on the hill form up not many muskets here that are being added by my guardsmen but they are guardsmen nonetheless and they will help you engage the line infantry to protect yourself let's run these kizobashi over to this front God, they're still just, they're still coming. Come up here, General's bodyguard. Hindu musketeers and Kizil Bashi need to come up here. Force Grenadier Guard, they're going to be pretty bad. That's those knocked a whole flank out on my Sikh warriors. Both of you men attack one of these infantry units in the rear. Islamic swordsmen get up here. General's body the bodyguard knock out the militia, and then you can come around and hit these fellas in the in the rear. Cannons of shots hitting the 21st regiment. Tears form up. See, they're just doing a lot of danger. Okay, you guys get in over here. I want to get them into that combat here, but I want to do it from behind. Guns are chipping away at the enemy. That unit routed before they even formed up. <laughs> Hacking through some good selection here. See, the Hindu warriors came back. You're well within range. You should be hammering those line infantry, light infantry imminently. I think that might be the end of this army. In which case then... You guys just form out next to the guns. That's the right place for you. There's that light infantry coming in. Two units of guns still to the rear. There we go, General's bodyguard into the enemy formation. 
with some Islamic swordsmen for backup. Hack them to pieces. Pike men. Go twelfth deck heal, reload and engage. Excellent. The horse grenadier guards that are here to, like, still here to uh, refuse to retreat. Go on, Kizilbashi, make ready. Take aim, fire! Send these melee troops on a grand and merry expedition back here. Because we need to start, we need to get ready to take out their gunners. Switch to round shot to engage the line infantry. Good. Nothing else coming in from up here. Form up, channels bodyguards, form up. Yeah, you man just hack the skirmishers to pieces. I bet that's where those guys are. Well, that's where definitely where they're going. They're trying to respond to this push behind the line, so I need to drive my line up. So they don't think it's worth doing. Give the Hindu musketeers just a charge order from way back here. Same with you, men. Give them a charge order from way back here. Are the conscripts engaging? Oh, you guys don't have any. You don't have any ammunition. Charge. I wonder you weren't doing any good. Taking conscripts though, that should be something you're capable of doing. Have a duel. Keep attacking! The 27th Regiment should fall. There they go, they're shattered and they're exhausted. So the last thing on the field is... All these troops going after the gunners. Excellent! God, that was a bit of a... I got a bit tight at times. I need more men to pour into the meat grinder. I need more men. Have a Joe. There we go. Oh, heroic victory. Yeah, very much so. I've won. But at what cost? What cost? See, they only lost slightly more than we did. <laughs> well, slightly more, 1600. But yeah, that was... Yeah, we need just... <laughs> those, re those resupply or reinforcement columns I was bringing up from Jerusalem, they're pretty important now. <laughs> Especially as that gave us a glimpse into what fighting against a here country is like we cannot stop stacking up the armies and shipping them into the theater okay let's see who is hmm, let's, see, let's see who's let's see who, who morocco is friendly with because if we can secure morocco we can guarantee or more reasonably guarantee our passage into the med from the west so you're not going to attack you're just going to chill out because we can cross because we're not at war with anyone 
to get more troops in, but but you came in to reinforce. Well, you need a general's bodyguard, and then you guys are just you. You're going to be out of it for a while, so you're going to have to actually. If you technically, if you can <laughs> siege them. You men can pull back. You men can push up from Naples. There we go. Naples is okay. Then we can bring you up at full strength to siege Rome, which we could take. But I'm not. I'm not going to. I want to see if we can draw more armies into a an attritional battle where we are slightly better suited to fight it. Okay, let's... One is uh, Kizilbashi. Have we got any Kizilbashi units we can merge? We do. Oh, no, those, those are Royal Indian Infantry Guards. We can combine you guys, though. I'll then combine some Hindu Musketeers and get an Israeli unit in there. Probably going to... Mm. That's why they're there. That's exactly why they're there. Yeah, this is really important now. Because with that fight, we're going to be doing. I don't. don't just, <laughs> just pathfind straight into the enemy. Can you men get to Naples? A good number of troops. Shouldn't really be using fourth rates for ferry work. Let's recruit a bunch of Jebex. I'm going to use one for f for ferry work for now. But yeah, it's not just about putting in. It's not necessarily additional armies we need we just need more reinforcement <laughs> to be honest you are sufficiently broken that actually you guys are probably a bit more useful on the field so you good sir you're actually not that bad can't even what I might do is take a unit of Hindu musketeers pull them out so I can try and add some heavy cavalry into the mix because right now you're quite short on cavalry if you push up a little bit more build a fort upgrade the fort because we can't rely on anything here from Naples. Okay, let's get some economy upgrades going. Because look, it's something I keep. Actually, before we get the economy upgrades going. Just a block of Israeli. Two Kizobashi. Two guns. Damascus. Focus on getting extra cavalry into the fight. A bunch of thirds. Okay, your your recruitment's all working. Your recruitment's all working. No, nope, not an admiral's flagship. Just a bunch of thirds. Um, let's get you. Board ship. Bring another army over to the Italian front line. Oh, for God's sake. 
Okay, you guys get into the get into the port. You get back to Latakia. And then you get back to Gaza. A heroic death. That was a heroic death for my general. Crewman for Egypt, 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 Bikipur, Palestine, Hyderabad, Mesopotamia. Yeah, the armies from the from the, the homeland. They need to keep on coming. Organizationally, though, it might be a bit better. Hmm. So you're recruiting some artillery. So you're going to Ahmedabad. You can come down to here now, wherever you were going. Great gun. 24 pounder, 24 pounder. I've got a bunch of melee troops, but you need musketeers. Plus, well, you've got cavalry. You can get some elephant musketeers to the field. Your Majesty. And you have got nine slots, and you just need infantry and melee infantry. Melee infantry. Do, 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 do. We've got one more slot. You get some elephant musketeers as well. Then. It starts all over again. One great gun. Two 24 pounders. Maybe three. One Iadi. There you go. We've run out of them. Things have run out of those units to recruit. Kizobashi, Kizobashi. Indian mercenaries. Okay, 33,000. We will we'll upgrade the brothel just because it's en route. But we do want to focus on industry. Which it looks like. I mean, yeah, it looks like you guys want to try and attack us. But that ain't going to happen. Elats can be a craft workshop of potters. Infrastructure's growing well here in Turkey. It's also growing well. Send some more. Send a jet back over Nice. And another Jebek up to. See, this sometimes happens. I hate it. It's like, no, you only want one of them. But because it kind of stutters when you're picking them, it decides, oh, I'm going to move them all anyway. So, what have they got? Barbary States. Ah. You will break our ships. As much as these kind of. These ships are almost built with an idea to be broken, it's meant to be broken by the enemy, not you. I think the name of the game though is just to keep keep churning out these navies as quickly as I can. I don't want to deploy all my armies because obviously we've got enemies here to deal with. This is one piece of the puzzle. Okay, 22 grand is now the time to look at the Americas. I don't necessarily... Uh, the problem is, there's nothing really to... There's no one really worth fighting here. In a way that will improve our odds in the war. Actually, let's not build you. Let's check. If you got... Okay, let's give you... Get you a new upgraded sugar plantation. Ah, same with you... But yeah, the problem is, is 
I don't necessarily go to war with Spain, because that opens up a whole... I mean, it potentially opens up a new front to engage the United Provinces, because we could take Madrid, Gibraltar, you know, this part of the world. But for now, I'm happy just to keep slogging things out against the Dutch here. Herbert Westervelt. Interesting. Let's hit and turn. Hit my agents are continuing their little walk. <laughs> yeah, they're bringing in more troops. <laughs> Poor little Jebek. Hey, it killed two enemy ships, though. When my navy's in a good shape, we can go and take out this Dutch fleet. Take out the fleet, bottle off the, uh, the, the Strait of Gibraltar. Oh, okay. So you've got this army that's mostly depleted. This army that's largely depleted, and then yeah, it's a few armies that are actually a bit knackered. But do I want to intercept them? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I have much of a choice. I can't really. Well, especially because they're all depleted, it gives me an option to actually destroy them. Yeah, let's just hope they're not going to deploy behind me like the like last time. Which, to be honest, they probably will, because whatever reason they had to deploy behind me last time is probably going to be just as accurate now. Okay, the ground's a lot flatter here, though. Deploy gun team. Infantry team. Gun team. Because like this, we should have quite a good... Ah, oh, I've already deployed you. Nuts. You. That's a good amount of fire superiority. Bringing some Israeli to the field for the first time. So I can drop two infantry on one flank, two infantry on the other flank, and then let's pull all my melee troops to one side. Let's take all these units in this in the middle of the guns. One unit between the guns. One, two, three units between the guns. These two units deployed on the flank. Okay, these are my reserve. Wait. Now, for a second there, I thought I could see. I thought I could see uh, entrenchments. I thought entrenchments. Yippee. Yeah, okay, right. Something like that. Cavalry on each flank, general in the centre. Dag! Oh, it's a depleted one, though. It's a depleted army, at least. These... So their dragoons, some of their dragoons have dismounted. Okay, you men just counter charge. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, charge the General's Bodyguard. How about you? Why is the morale in those. Oh, nuts. Let's 
Sound the attack. My cavalry beats their regiment of horse. Okay, big mistake. Big mistake. Quick climb on now. Big mistake. Deploy the Gurkhas, because these guys, you can deploy square. Gurkhas can counter charge first light horse. You may switch to canister shot. You may run, get you guys formed up. First light horse have been defeated. You may engage. You may get into position, switch to canister shot. Begin to engage. You men switch to counter shot. Begin to engage. Form your line. Gurkhas to the rear. Sipahis get around there. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards get around because they need to go after. Okay, they know. They don't want to engage us at extended ranges. No, oh, my cavalry. How did you get... Oh, it's Hessian Jaeger. They'll do it. Okay, you may engage the Swiss. Gunners run away, you guys cease fire, run up. Hindu warriors are engaging. Okay, you guys need to run. Blast the Swiss line, you men attack. Okay, good. You can go after those 24 pounder, actually go smack straight into those Hessian Jaeger. If you don't get them, they'll just they'll keep coming back. The general over here. You men over here to hit the Swiss line. So you've smacked into those Hessian Jaeger. They're not going to be around for very long. These men can push up against the dragoons as well. So we're killing their bodyguards left, right, and center. You men hit their mercenaries to the rear, I suppose. Both hit the first light foot. Those men are shattered. Get my Royal Indian Cavalry Guards over to the centre. You guys don't follow the skirmishers. Get down here towards the enemy troops. You men push up to secure the new front line. My general hit the enemy infantry in the rear. Okay, you get ready to form up. Okay, you men attack the Cuirassier. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards smack into the rear of the enemy's position here. So that's some howitzers knocked out. Anyway, so these are Sorelli have routed. You guys go after the general's bodyguard because you're going to get bought out there. Go for these grenadiers to make sure they route. Actually, you might want to go for the mercenaries. Everyone charge the mercenaries. Kill these last remaining 
Dutchman. We've got some grenadiers in here as well. Yeah, they do. Okay, so you're going to be the start of the new front line. Kirasi are winning. It's the Hindu warriors, but they can't need very many of them to die. Okay, let's build our new front line. <clears throat> got a lot of got a lot, ugh, got a lot of enemy generals. You men still have your crew. You do not, sadly, so withdraw. It's not that the crew are a prerequisite, it's just that. Okay, right. It's just that without the crew, they're a lot less flexible. Cavalry. It's General's bodyguards. But he's being engaged. He's had enough. Oh, it's an artillery crew coming in. Yeah, so this unit here should be enough to tie up the bulk of those enemy troops. I mean, I'm happy to throw all of my troops that currently can still fight into the battle line. You guys are stuck. But can you retreat? No, you can't. That's not that's not frustrating at all. Gunners fire a canister shot at the Swiss line. General's bodyguard. Blast them with canister shot, my friend. Enemy cavalry out on the flank. Light dragoons. Get my Sapahi involved. Just to retreat. Catch them and then pull them off their horses and stab them. There we go. They've been drawn into the fight. A gun team is useful. Drag them over here. You're all going to stay here just in case. You may withdraw. Go after the line infantry guards with canister shot. You may make ready and fire. Anyone that can still fight can join the line. Royal Indian Cavalry Guard intercept those hussars. The infantry can join the subsequent fight. Can you engage the 41st? There we go, their cavalry 
they're only light cavalry, so once they get bogged down and my infantry starts having a go, then they're really in trouble. These Swiss grenadiers, yeah. They don't like what's happening. Keep the line pushing forward. Kizabashi Musketeer unit push up to the flank. We do have a Musketeer unit here. Here, yes. Get involved. Get into the line. This is what I pay you for. Fusiliers, eh? Yeah, their missiles came back. Intercept them with my armoured Lancer cavalry. Run my Islamic swordsmen at that. Yay, okay. So that might be a bit tricky. Okay, actually, let's pull both those gun units back. So they're just going to... Use it. They're going to take take time to get to the front. Time that we don't necessarily want to spend. Just waiting for gunners to show up. So the Islamic swordsmen charge the fusiliers because fusiliers are quite vulnerable. They're quite vulnerable in the melee attack. You men charge the dragoons, but be wary of the stakes. Get this general's bodyguard over here just to make sure that this thin crust doesn't break too easily, which it might. Do warriors get over here? There we go, the Islamic swordsmen might be enough to make the fusiliers route. general gets over to one side he can shoot from here or they can just ch charge in because they don't give a damn how about you Grenadiers, okay, right. My cavalry's dying too easy to grenadiers. Haw oh, light haw. Light horse Jaeger, let's charge them against those skirmishes. Get them away from the main fight here. Make space. Some conscripts coming in. stop and get a volley against us. They could have taken us out, but they elect to try and deploy stakes. Okay, I want you to draw them back up to this gun line. the artillery gives me my advantage. And the warriors are routed. 
keep on attacking. My dragoons getting involved, getting my cavalry back here. You men cease fire, my Gurkhas would love to meet you. Yeah, suddenly my general's bodyguard over here looks a bit alone. But he too will fight. He will hold until the 101st. Get into position. My Gurkhas will equalize the fight against these dragoons you men can engage the line infantry guards because they're vulnerable actually you men go after the go after the cavalry go after the artillery sorry that's the was the smarter thing to do oh swiss pikes sorry general let's get you out of there You go for a second regiment. No, the spikes! They're done for. <laughs> I looked for them, but I couldn't see them. Must have been looking in the wrong area. They are going to break. There's only two of them. Gunners, engage. Hessian Jaeger, militia all the way out in the distance. Keep attacking, then go after that regiment there. All of you men, Sans Gurkhas, need to form up to shoot the enemy. Suddenly this army, which wasn't that wasn't gonna cause a problem. Well, it's now causing a problem because they're just stacking men up. Oh, they ran in front of the stakes. Run parallel, run parallel. Okay, so these men need to form new front line against these enemies. You might have to charge them to try to take them out. Who are you? Militia, form your line. Yeah, <clears throat> just a second, everyone. This general's unit. Yeah, there he goes. So we've had to swarm. Here I got some more troops coming up. Just form your line. Native or auxiliary position. There we go. We're going to sweep them away with our musket fire. We can sweep away that unit of militia. This line infantry will fall. Human fire will off. Ooh, they fancy it, do they? Some Native American troops who'd love to say hello. You men push up the front here. Chase down those pikemen. Twenty Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Are they gonna be enough to knock out 90 Swiss pikes? 
90 Hessian Jaeger, I mean. Reinforcements are still coming in. If they get volleys off, they may be enough to prevent my cavalry from killing them. But they're not. Oh, they got some shots off. That's en that might be enough. Bring in this general's bodyguard. Yeah, they saw us off. Go get him, general's bodyguard. You men push the flank, Gurkhas get ready to push the right flank. You're gonna need a bigger gun to take out my general. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here they come. Gonna get a volley off. Oh, took out a bunch of my elephants. <laughs> but my elephants don't like you one bit. Yeah, there they go. And these men lashing these militia in the flank are more than enough to send them running. So, in terms of who's left. I think this is the last unit. Oh, good. Those are those are those are dragoons' horses that have dismounted. So annoying. You guys got stuck. Yeah, generals four. Then this isn't the time to get precious about generals go through stakes. Yeah, they did. Oh well. They will do what they must for the good of their empire. They've got elephants. We can't afford to not use them. Even if that means that some of them will die. Pull back. Pretty sure that's everyone, unless they've got some hidden units. But apart from that, God, that was another one that was a bit potentially be <laughs> another pyramid victory. But when this is what we can. This is what we have to hold on to. We're taking full strength armies and then just drawing them down. This is the kind of action we need to fight. Do we want to intercept them? In theory, I should. In theory, I should, and I'm actually going to do what I should. What I should really do more often. You see, right? Let's get my Sikh Musketeers up front. Let's have their contingent be some of the first to enter the field. They've not been doing much fighting yet. But yeah, we're going to form up in the back right corner where all our defences are, <laughs> and then wait for our reinforcements to come in. Um, because our guys are okay, but. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Kingdom of Mysore. Cheers, everyone.